oh my beautiful <laughs> gorgeous queens how you doing welcome to the gallup talk show and i'm your host njoki moguero and today we have a very very interesting topic huh? very interesting safanyaje pigia mwanzako simu mwambie afike hapa left probe a follow he program and today we have very interesting guests and uh, let them introduce themselves yeah hi guys me and i draw jess just dev yeah i'm here yeah you're talking here so hi guys um odiambo akinyi harriet so today we are going to discuss about self-esteem self-image entirely and we break it down kwa self kwa self-identity na self-esteem na kama sisi ladies we have those issues mostly hapo tuko hapo around 12 years hapo mas hapo adole adole hivi so leo nataka tu to discuss about self esteem ju unajua kuna kuna madem wengine paka sasa hizi bado wana struggle nayo wanashindwa mm-hmm. wenyewe to overcome so tuanzie na na Jess umwahi kwa na issue ya self esteem um as far as i can remember mimi <laughs> kumuge <laughs> by <laughs> seriously by then ni kama sijawai na nishawai lakini kama ilikuwa mm-hmm. kalikuwa kadogo tu sana kadogo. Sana, so, sana, yeah. sana but eventually ni kama kama ilikuwa ile like mm-hmm. kuwe kwa uoga ya kuongea mbele ya watu oh. like ushaikuwa like mkiwa class setup ya class especially tukiwa kole kuna wale ulikuwa unapata wako ma, machopi sana yani eh hey, kila mtu anainua mkono you're like gosh ni mimi mm-hmm. tu ni mimi tu alafu ukinua mwisho watu wanacheka <laughs> cuz umeinua mwisho watu wamecheka cuz all through through the class ya 45 minutes hujakuwa ukinua mkono sasa imebakisha dakika kidogo alafu unainua mkono so watu wana bus class alafu unatoa point teacher anasema kumbe unakuanga na point <laughs> really yeah imagine so mimi nikaenda up shut down cuz i was like ai sasa kila mtu akicheka ni aje yeah. so unaona hapo kidogo ikani affect tu kidogo si sana do kidogo but nika overcome oh, that's yeah. nice that's nice na Harriet mm-hmm. tuambie situation yako umai face self esteem well mine is very crazy i have uh, faced uh, self esteem issues for years actually and uh, so throughout my childhood until when i joined campus that's when now i started realizing i need to 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 see another version of me that is hidden because uh people made me believe that i am not good enough to be mm-hmm. seen mm-hmm. to be heard and mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. so I, i used to hide i was in a shell mm-hmm. but um i'd say it is so overwhelming and and i feel so happy that i overcame that and it's been about five years since i overcame my self esteem issues can you tell us one one experience in a... so one experience that i'd say is that um i remember when growing up um i grew up in a in a very in a very in a very vast environment i'd mm-hmm, say mm-hmm. and we, we we grew up like um a group of 200 people in mm-hmm. one household mm-hmm. and um i was never i never fit in because mm-hmm. i was smart and they never saw me as someone to talk to mm-hmm. and then apparently i didn't know that i was beautiful <laughs> So me growing up because while while in Itenga mm. I thought I am not fitting in anywhere. Yeah. So the reason why they were they were actually keeping me away from them is because mm-hmm. they thought I was beautiful. Everyone who came there actually looked at me and did not look at look, look at them. So they they made me feel like I was I was looked down upon. And so I never believed in beauty. Yeah. And I would still say that I don't believe in physical beauty to define a lady. Mm, yeah. So um that is the toughest that I ever faced because uh all these uh all these ladies that I grew up with, all mm-hmm. my teachers and everyone, I was a silent girl so they mm-hmm. made me feel like I do not need to come out of my shell until I joined campus and funny enough mm-hmm. I joined campus I was a lady the way I'm dressed I'm a lady like lady mm-hmm. but when I joined campus I told myself I'm mm-hmm. away from home mm-hmm. and if it was bad at home and back in high school I don't want to experience something worse mm-hmm. so I would dress in hoodies very huge hoodies baggy jeans and some weird shoes and cover myself and walk facing down it was mm-hmm. bad for so, two good years kuna hiyo point to the summer and and then ikafikiria like okay umesema like they thought 
you are beautiful but you okay kwani wewe huko unafikiria wewe ni ni ni, ni, ni muspu yani ni muspu yani yani I never thought in one yes. beat and yes. blink in my life that yes. I'm beautiful yes. I never thought about that yes. ah that's yes. really nice yeah, hata mimi mm-hmm. nime battle self esteem yeah. I can remember he acheni waambie nikisimama I am almost six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> and growing up in, a, in an yeah. environment where the ladies are all short and mm-hmm. looking all, all dashing and me uh-huh. I'm over there jatola. But then nikwa naitwa jatola and Eish. I was like jatola. 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 Sha kitaka kurabua blackboard jatola. So mm-hmm. it really affected my, yeah. my 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 esteem mm-hmm. to a place where I feel like I don't deserve to be around mm-hmm. yeah. ladies mm-hmm. and even the the, the the opposite sex and uh, mm-hmm. I was alone. Mm, yeah, sure. And uh, because I, ha- I I I created an atmosphere of mm. being alone, mm-hmm. now it it came to even to to expressing and even talking out what I'm feeling, it became a problem. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so uh, that for me that that's just but one part of where I experienced mm. a point of self esteem. Mm. And uh huh. What I can tell my my ladies who are watching mm. that is <coughs> you are beautiful whether you're tall mm-hmm. whether you're short yeah. whether you're huge mm-hmm. whether you're slim whether una whether you wear branded clothes whether you just wear these ordinary clothes we are all beautiful, beautiful. and uh, let's just if tell us about self identity in, in accordance to the bible yeah according to the bible um you know the bible says that in genesis 127 yeah I, i think i'm right yeah we are created in the image of god so if you identify yourself in god's image being the child of god that means we unafanana na god yeah by the way yeah. sifanani na wewe naelewa haufanani na beshte yako you said earlier kwamba wewe ulikuwa unaitwa jatola jatola because na wewe huku realize ya kwamba wewe ume wewe ni mfano mfano wa god mm. naelewa so that means pale ulikuwa na low self esteem ni kwa sababu ya kwamba hukuwa na hiyo knowledge yeah. ya kwamba you are made in the image of god mm. so kama hujui wewe you are made in the image of god hakuna vile unaweza hiyo overcome hiyo hakuna venye hiyo unaweza unaweza hiyo overcome at all so mm. lazima kwanza ujue ya kwamba mimi ni nika, mimi ni kama god mdogo cuz mm. god said in genesis he said let us create a man after our own image yeah. so we are the image of god yeah so ukishajua kwamba wewe ni image ya god what next you accept yourself exactly you to accept yes. yourself mm-hmm. yeah that's really nice yeah. and what about you harriet well i'd say that self image just to add on what jesus has said mm-hmm. is um personally let me talk from my own experience personally i self identified myself when i was a second year student at the university mm-hmm. so um apparently how it mm-hmm. came about is mm-hmm. I, I was a CEO yeah. participant yeah. and then uh, I used to go to church and want to sing. So mm-hmm. when I'm dressed, you know, when I'm dressed yeah. on Sunday I'm very elegant and then mm-hmm. these guys used to admire me and they would say you look so nice, mm-hmm. you dress so nice and I was like, okay. So apparently I'm actually created in the image and likeness yes. of God yes. Yes. and then yes. walking on the road going to church everyone is like hi ni aje msupa you look yeah. so nice what what and i was like what so i'm beautiful <laughs> yeah oh my god well and then Gosh. i told myself i don't need approval yeah because mm. I, i love that i i came to realize that when i bought my first mirror mm. as a student Eish. i yeah. placed the mirror and i used to look at myself in the mirror and i used to assure myself you are beautiful yeah you are enough mm-hmm. you are so creative you are so wonderfully mm-hmm. made god looks at, at you and he just smiles mm-hmm. and um, that's how it, it came about for me so that's, that's yeah. the, you know uh, i found that we we may say that we are created in the image of god but mm-hmm. we have given the world that space to identify us by the mm-hmm. by the names they call us yeah, and i was listening to another preacher alikuwa mm-hmm. anasema mm-hmm. to continue pata identity mm-hmm. ya dunia sasa mm-hmm. dunia itakupea jina negative yes. and so when you feed yourself with that negativity mm-hmm. that's what you give us and that you is what you take you expect sasa ukitupea what's negative mm. you don't expect us as people who are around you yes. to to give out positive mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and uh, this is my advice to my fellow ladies yeah, yeah? Mm-hmm. like 
may you find your identity first in Christ because that's the first thing yeah? exactly true. your identity yako in Christ that you are called to mm-hmm. that he he loves you and that you are his child and that you are precious and that you are a queen and a daughter of Zion kila mm-hmm. kitu ina change even the way you think the way you carry yourself the way you dress really changes mm-hmm. yeah and uh, another issue that in a, in a rise up even when it comes to self esteem mm-hmm. we have body accept we're accepting oh, yeah, your body yeah. exactly and yeah. to apart a lot of ladies are being mm-hmm. body shamed yeah. so yeah. like you know it's it's really bad eh? mm-hmm. it's so bad, yeah. to you Jess, have you ever expressed that place your body, yeah, body shame. shaming eh? no but a friend of mine Hey, my in in Kali. Huyo dem, sasa tazama dili. Huko nyuma nika alikuwa flat mazi. Wacha tu tuiseme, si mambo ndio iko kwa hii dunia. Lakini mabeshte wake instead ya kumappreciate venye God amemcreate, wana wanamwambia like akitembea, eh, akiwe ni kama umepigwa pasi. Unaelewa? Sa most of the time ungepata huyo dem ana shida tu akijiangalia, anavaa tunguo tight ndio anga lao ni kama apa nyuma atatokelezea <laughs> lakini wow. wapi but ni kwa sababu gani kwa sababu unaona sasa aliashemiwa na mabeshte wake yeah. mabeshte wake they don't want to appreciate yeah. how god created her yes. so hapo wanamwashema alafu yeye yeah, estimate yake isha, isha go down unaona mm-hmm. atajaribu yeah. ku identify na exactly now yeah. Ana, anafanya vitu zingine funny funny and that's unapata these days ladies wananunua mpaka hizi zinaitwa ni hizi hizi panties iko na rasa ndio eh, ongeze yeah. rasa cuz mm, hana mm. panties iko na hips ndio mm. ongeze hips cuz hana they do that ni kwa sababu mabeshta wanawaambia nini ah look at you you're not hippy like mm, me yeah. so nataka kuwa kuwa ku, 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 kwa dunia kwamba look at me niko na hips sana haga eh hey, mm. niko na haga <laughs> hata kiku appreciate kwanza mwili yake unajua it's it's about me yeah it's not about you yeah. nikijiamini niseme ya kwamba wow i'm wonderful and fear free maid yes. hata kama unakaa number one hivi unaji appreciate unasema unajiangalia kwa mira like as in oh my god mm. i'm beautiful mm. i'm wonderful you know mm. yeah. hata kama shape yako ya kichwa inaenda kama watermelon mm. ni sawa unasema god created me vizuri na na kasma yeah. so yo make kama anasema wewe ni image yake mm. kwa nini wewe useme wewe si image ya god mm. yeah. exactly yeah. And not about you Harriet have you expressed body shaming well i have apparently and uh, my first my very first worst experience was uh, um when i was only a class 8 mm-hmm. kid mm-hmm. Yeah. and so we had a nanny yeah. who was taking care of us where i grew up yeah. so apparently growing up i went through so many challenges mm-hmm. physically mm-hmm. and um being you know kucharazwa shule yeah. and all that and mm-hmm. when we, we were doing our chores mm-hmm. i was kind of um physically mm-hmm. not able to do so much hard work mm-hmm. so i used to get a lot of scars and bruises mm-hmm. so i ended up because i'm a light skin lady mm-hmm. i ended up having um scars yeah. and my scars mm-hmm. never heal to be light mm-hmm. skin they heal yeah. to be yeah. dark, dark spots water. and apparently they are big dark yeah. spots mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so this nanny mm-hmm. at one point i was mopping i was just doing my chores and yeah. then mm-hmm bending over she she was behind me spot mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. so this nanny mm-hmm. at one point i was mopping i was just doing my chores and yeah. then mm-hmm. bending over she she was behind me mm-hmm. she wanted to to get into the house and then she told me what had it what is that mm-hmm. you should have been born or cre- created black because oh, it is better for crazy. someone to be treated dark yeah. and your scars will not be seen but you are light and you have yeah. scars that is very bad and she laughed hysterically yeah. i was That's heartbroken crazy, yeah. Exactly, yeah. she was an adult and she mm. did that to me so mm-hmm. from that point mm-hmm. i promised myself i'd never mm. ever put on a, a short a dress shaker. nothing like that and apparently i have been trying once in a while to put on short dresses i spoke to my mentor who is a very good friend of mine sometime mm-hmm. back and mm-hmm. i was at, at her place and she told me something very mm-hmm. very powerful mm-hmm. so apparently i visited and they wanted me to sleep over mm-hmm. and i didn't have clothes mm-hmm. so she gave me a short to put on i was like how do how do i do that so i started explaining to her <laughs> this is what happened yeah, i need to yeah, show yeah. you this and she was like your scars are beautiful yeah, it shows that. that you overcame something mm-hmm. that almost destroyed you yeah. and from then i st- i started thinking about yeah. it and i was like well my scars are actually beautiful mm-hmm. because i have 
very big scars from theater, from where, and mm -hmm. nowadays I have embraced it. Yeah, I have embraced yeah, who I am. So I well. tell myself, you know, um, mm -hmm. just to go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we went to a, uh, a symposium back at school in mm -hmm. high school, and then uh, so as we are there, mm -hmm. you know, our our school used to put on a kind of short skirts. So they were knee length. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we, we never, you know, as a high school girl, you want to be seen because you look <laughs> yeah. beautiful and mm -hmm. you want to, you know, the adolescent yeah, period. Yeah. So me, because I knew and I had been reminded earlier on before mm -hmm. I joined high school that I have scars, mm -hmm. I decided to, because at, at least I didn't have mm -hmm. short socks that yeah. would, uh, you know, yeah. that, that would uh, make me be seen out yeah. there. So I decided to put on the longest socks that I had. and. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, they were not even halfway my knee, so to, towards <laughs> my knee. So um, when we were at the school, after the examinations and everything, so we are walking around, you mm -hmm. know, people want mm -hmm. to know each other from mm -hmm. these boys' schools and guys' schools. Mm -hmm. And shock on me, how <laughs> painful and heartbroken, heartbroken oh. I was that this guy first there were a group of guys you know yeah, they were very yeah. handsome and all that and i was smiling i was like oh for the first time i'm going to get someone who's crushing on me mm -hmm. on first sight shock on me all they said after passing by is one leg is actually black that's what they said not knowing that the black leg mm -hmm. they, they they call it black it's actually a little bit dark not black the black leg is a birthmark number one mm. and number two yeah. having gone through a harsh environment growing up it made me have darker spots on yeah. this on the birthmark yeah. so um that made me feel so bad and i was like what do i do so my i remember um, some people used to tell me i mean Harriet, you're beautiful just yeah. mm -hmm. dress go out be yes. seen let people see your scars and mm -hmm. embrace you with yeah. them yeah. Yeah. so yeah so i mean i overcame when i met my mentor yeah. and uh going to going through mentorship yeah. as a young person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. being told how to embrace my skin yeah made me overcome mm -hmm. that yeah, yeah. yeah. so really ladies nice. should just if you're out there i know someone um i don't know if this is right to to name them but there's a lady called Shalom Black on YouTube and that lady has very big scars but she has embraced it so beautifully she inspires me a lot yeah, because yeah. she tells people your scars are beautiful, beautiful you are yeah. beautiful in your scars mm -hmm. imagine she has scars she's even bald because she was mm -hmm. burnt mm -hmm. and she has embraced it she's even dating which she wasn't doing mm -hmm. at first when she started and I, I'm made to realize that I'm not bad at all. I am beautiful and mm -hmm. I am awesome. And this, what I've gone through is a mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. that God wanted me to go through. Having the yeah. scars is God's intentional strategic mm -hmm. process. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now for me, uh, I have experienced body shaming. I can remember when I finished my form for right. around 2016. Yeah. Uh, then that period of that whole year, 2017 also, mm -hmm. I gained a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so 2017, my birthday is on November 15th. Mm -hmm. I decided to go to one of the supermarkets in Nakuru and uh, just make an order for a cake. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told the past, I gave, I gave my order and I was like, rate it, happy birthday, Njoki, and I'm turning mm -hmm. 19. Yeah. So she had made an order a week before then. Mm -hmm. that on that day when I went to take my cake, mm -hmm. the guy had written 29. Oh. Yes. Oh. And I was like, no, I didn't tell you to write 29. Yeah. I told you to write 19 and then he asked me is it yours and i'm like yes it's mine but you are sure you're turning 19 i'm like yeah, yeah i'm turning 19 <laughs> yeah and yeah. that that thing just drew me aback and i was like wait Kwani, mm -hmm. how do i look like yeah. you know i don't know after they then yeah. go just going and shopping for clothes and they're like mom 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 <laughs> 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 that killed me now like how I, I, I came so sensitive about my body so I did what she was doing okay. I, I, I went and picked up baggy clothing oh, and really? I was just looking like a dude oh, yeah my and uh, I had to sit down with myself mm -hmm. and tell and talk to myself and I'm like now this hey. is me mm -hmm. Whether I like it or not, mm -hmm. this is who I am. Mm -hmm. And if I give them the, the negativity that trying to give me, I give it back, mm -hmm. it will be so wrong. Mm -hmm. So I took the negativity and mm -hmm. placed it in a positive way, right. in, a, in, in a way that 
I, I, I encourage myself like, okay, Basi, the best thing I can do is just do some exercise. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Just lose some weight. Mm-hmm. And, and, and after I learn, I just, just running. Acha na gym ati chuma. Ah, chuma ni nilijaribu kwenda gym. Ziku moja, sija waika nyanga gym tena. Mwili niliuma. But I decided to wake up and just go for runs and come back. And I lost weight. And by losing weight, I, I started to, my, my steam and um, my steam started growing. Yeah. And for my ladies, for my queens who are watching, I would, want, I would love to say that regardless of the weight you have mm-hmm. regardless of the weight you have mm-hmm. regardless of how you look mm-hmm. whether light whether dark whether mm-hmm. you got scars yeah there's uh, there there's a person who told me this you in, in your your imperfections are beautiful sure. mm-hmm. and uh understanding that point like in your imperfection ukama unangoa kama meno yako haiko white kama meno sijui nakaaje babe you are beautiful just the way you wow. are. Mm. And don't go and looking for identity from men. Yeah. I will, I will advise you to go and look your identity in Christ. Mm. Then come and look it in worldly. Then you give it out to people and they will respect what you give them. Yeah. And so uh, just you have okay, let, let me let me take you back. Yeah, uh, that time you were fitting clothes and then you were like this kaplam girl ni nini. What was the feeling during that time? Wasi walikuwa wanakuambia like ama during that time uliambia, "Ai, is this is are you sure you are 19 years?" <laughs> How did you feel? Hey, I felt like I I don't fit in. Mm-hmm. I am not enough. Yes. I I don't deserve to be in this world. Yes. Like I experienced a lot of yeah, mixed yeah. feelings. I can't I can't ex, I can't show them Mm -hmm. you get yeah and uh but the major one was a lot of resentment Mm -hmm. towards myself and na na sasa hiyo ndo shide kakutoke hapo sasa so wajuna kuwa na stress alafu my anxiety and all that then una overfeed Mm -hmm. kama wani stress ito unakula sasa vizuri ama unakosa kukula and all that but um Look at us mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. Theo, yeah. and look okay. at you, my mm-hmm. beautiful mm-hmm. queen. And like, did you get yeah. like someone to talk to about the issues? Ama we mwenye we ulijita kama. Okay, you say it. Ali umetomia kamba ulijita kama kuda. So it's like how you pata mtu wa kuchapia your story kwa yao. Una cheki, una cheki, una cheki kama umekuwa na esteem mm. issues. Yeah. Yeah. Unakuna, it, it, you find it hard to share it mm-hmm. out to another person, thinking mm-hmm. that they are going to judge you. Well, mm-hmm. sincerely speaking, mm-hmm. they are there to listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And uh, so, Mimi Nikona, I said, I'll check it out. I'll judge and all that. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Na saa kujita mkutano sinika kajiongelesha by the grace of God and yes of God yeah. 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 yeah yeah and so for Jess and uh, Harriet mm-hmm. look at the camera and just give mm-hmm. an advice to the ladies mm-hmm. that camera yeah young ladies yes sasa miki tunaweza ambia ni akomba see yourself when you go down there's this word let me show you philippians chapter 4 verse 8 fix your thoughts on what is true good and right mm-hmm. what is true good and right if you have friends vibes negative focus on the friends when you want to good vibes and remember remember this point if they are not your maker they don't get to be your mirror get the point if they are not your maker they don't get to be your mirror remember your maker is the only mirror that you have in this world mm-hmm. and to harriet well i'd uh, start by telling uh, all the beautiful ladies out there you are so awesome you are beautiful you are the best that the world needs i'd just like to tell you that without me and you as a lady the world is not running so like beyonce says in her songs we run the world and it is very very true so um i'd also add by saying the bible says that me and you we should stand and acknowledge and accept because god acknowledges us as his own 
mm-hmm. because we are his creation we mm-hmm. are his daughters we are mm-hmm. his children so um go out there and please walk with your head held high and please just accept who you are it doesn't matter kama uko na shida gani whether you are crippled or what you are awesome and i love all ladies who love themselves just love you do you be you and don't let anybody anybody i mean anybody don't let anybody define who you are it is you to 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 inflict the positive vibe that you want to give out there mm. if you want positivity you have it has to start from you from mm. within you to mm. the outside so sharing love and sharing what you want to be called out here is you sharing the exceedingly the spilling over so you have to be the one who is full to the brim and the spilling over is what you have to share so if you if you start sharing the spilling over mm. you will eventually get to sharing the deep the deepest that you have yeah yeah and to my gorgeous beautiful queens who are watching i would advise that as women let us stand for women mm-hmm. let us not criticize a fellow woman mm-hmm. and judge her mm-hmm. for Beto took out to coffee tea. Mm. Not to key if we are able to stand with each other we will not fall into identity issues. Mm-hmm. We won't go looking for identity from men. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Or money or 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 just trying to fit in. No, yani let's stand for each other. Let's fight for each other. Let us be friends with each other because mm-hmm. we are all important and always remember to appreciate whoever you meet mm-hmm. with whether it's a man whether it's a whether it's a child whether it's a woman mm-hmm. tell them they are beautiful tell them they're handsome tell them they're looking great because mm-hmm. words of affirmation really go mm-hmm. a long way mm-hmm. and um thank you so much for watching girl up talk show till next time god bless Ciao.